come from the divine line. Let's pursue what we are destined for. Because life isn't about just staying alive, rather to enjoy the bliss of life. So let's write our own destiny as it awaits, embarked on the holisticity and faith. Wishing an exuberant morning to all. My name is Yashraj Mathur and I am going to be the transitioner for this video documentary. This documentary is indeed a compilation of bulk entertainment with utmost moralistic and serendipitic approach. Now, without waiting any further ado, let's commence this documentary. All these great opportunities are provided to us, students, because of our institution. So here is a brief introduction of our school by Nishita Pathakar. With the motto of Towards a Better World, Carmel Convent Senior Secondary School Ratanpur Bhopal has been a nurturing ground to form efficient, effective, empowered, enriched and spirit-filled Carmelites who strive for excellence in knowledge and skill. Every student who put their heart upon this institution and walk into this campus with the dream to excel and achieve are transformed. Established in 1988, the Carmel Education family is dedicated to Jesus Christ, the Supreme Guru and an exemplary model of excellence and service. The school is located at a sprawling seven acres campus in pollution-free environment of Ratanpur. It is managed by the sisters of the congregation of Mother of Carmel and is guided by the principles of St. Koryakos Eliad Stavra, the founder father of the CMC. With its humble origin, with about 40 students, the school has grown into a full-fledged institution with nearly 3,000 students and today it is regarded as one of the most premier institutions of Bhopal providing quality education to its students. Carmelites believe that the pursuit of knowledge brings pleasure not pain and education equals enjoyment and excellence in all the spheres of life. The facilities offered to the students include fully equipped science laboratories, a well-stacked library, highly advanced computer lab, a magnificent auditorium, music room, sports room, craft room, a spacious multi-purpose hall, playgrounds and audio-visual aids. Every classroom is equipped with smart classes to make the teaching learning process more effective and interesting. The institution is led by our principal, Reverend Dr. Sister Kripa, our Vice Principal, Reverend Sister Jyoti, and is supported by a team of highly dedicated sisters and teachers. In Carmel, the teacher and the taught share a very unique relationship, which is like a spiritual bond. The highly qualified and skilled teachers help and guide students to facilitate learning. Carmel Convent Senior Secondary School Ratanpur believes in creative and unfettered imagination of young minds through various activities like art and craft, creative writing, debating, extempore, dancing, music and quizzing. Moreover, keeping in mind the Indian tradition Efforts are made to inculcate the values of brotherhood, integrity, patriotism, etc. The qualities of leadership and service are built among students through their active participation in the NCC and by the formation of the school cabinet every year. The school has a legacy of excellence in both curricular and co-curricular fields and is marching forward, receiving accolades and winning laurels in various spheres. Carmel believes that sky is the limit to try innovative ideas. The school provides an ideal place for students to learn and to grow. Learning is a lifelong process 
and this is the message which the school wants to give to all its students and to all those who are associated with it from my side all i want to say is that the school has given me everything it could provide the school has given me everything it could provide i am and will always be a proud camelite dance has ever been a great way to express feelings it has the power to influence and can bring out every emotion within you bharatnatyam is an indian origin classical dance form whose power cannot be confined within words so here is a group dance to spread the soothing golden aura of bharatnatyam accurately said laughter is the best therapy now to lighten the atmosphere carrying a bundle of jokes in his backpack here is humorously yours priyansh mamopatra once a boy saw a restaurant sign which was advertised as fat free french fries sounds great said the health conscious boy so he ordered sir He saw that the cook was taking out a basket of fries from the fryer. The fries were dripping with oil when the cook put it in the container. He said, "Wait a minute. Those don't look like fat free." "Sure they are," the cook said. "We are only charging for the potatoes and the fat is free." With the ever developing and rapid expansion of technology and internet it's been a boon for mankind enabling humanity to take great leap into the future it has increased the level of accessibility enormously and has far thrown the concept of distances in this decade of 21st century but as everything has its pros and cons spammers have been misusing this great facility for self interest So here is Khushi Mahavar with an awaring speech about spammers. A very warm greeting to everyone. Today, I Khushi Mahavar of class 7A of Carmel Convent Senior Secondary School Ratanpur 
want to draw your kind attention towards the topic spammers people who bombard the internet with unsolicited emails should be banned from sending junk mails as we have observed today spam spamming spammers have become the most common words we hear in our daily life but what does it mean a spammer is a person or organization that sends irrelevant or unsolicited messages over the internet typically to a large number of users for the purpose of advertising phishing spreading malware etc and the most common form of spam observed is email spam it remains economically viable because advertisers have no operating costs beyond the management of their mailing lists servers infrastructures etc email spamming has been the subject of legislations in many jurisdictions email spam is also known as unsolicited bulk email idst ube this kind of practice followed by several persons to send unwanted email messages must be stopped as soon as possible because the main motive of this kind of spamming is to do crime activities such as to spread computer viruses trojan horses or other malicious software and some spammers also attempt to capitalize on human greed whereas some even attempt to take advantage of the people's lack of knowledge of technology one of the world's most prolific spammers is robert alan salvey but he was arrested by us authorities on 31st may 2007 at last i want to conclude up by saying that we should be a responsible and aware citizen of our motherland of our country and we should calmly handle the situations of the spammers and must provide our best efforts which we can to stop such spamming activities thank you have a great and fantastic day the previous year has brought numerous changes for society, may it be for people of any background, age or profession. Students making a major part of society, they have also been through a lot many changes. Online classes gained a lot of popularity and have been the headliners. False rumours about syllabus reduction, exam dates being postponed have circulated a lot and have left many students in oblivion. So here is an appearing and quite relatable skit visualizing the condition of students. This is a story about the pandemic. Schools had just started to conduct classes online and teachers were getting used to the new normal. What could go wrong? Zoomers love the internet. They would probably love online classes too. Or that is if they did not find ways to cheat the system which they did. Sleeping in classes became sleeping after joining the meeting and bunking the classes became doing something else in the background. Hmm. In beginning, I started to become anxious. My eyes burned. My head ached. I could barely smile after the radiation caused by these gadgets and all of this was fault of online classes. Until one day, my brother saw the screen time of my phone and the proportion of it used in Instagram and YouTube. Hey, what's up? Yeah, everything is all good, but what's up with your head? Um, nothing, I just got a hit from a wall. A big giant wall. Leave it. But do you know that CBSE has reduced 30% of the slavers, isn't it great? <laughs> what great? What about the other 70%, huh? 
Never forget the practical man. Hmm. What is this? Oh my God! CBSE to reduce labor for the up to seventy to eighty percent. What? Another great news practicals to be removed <laughs> You know what? Mine says there won't be even any board exams. What's wrong with you all guys? How can you believe such an obvious fake news? Yeah man, you're absolutely right. Maybe he's right. We don't know. First listen to them. They may have a valid Now there is no one to deceive me. I am the king of this world. La, la, la. It's the one and only king of I should stop doing this stupidity. As expected, Anj starts to procrastinate and waste a lot of his time. The other three do not believe it, but wish it was true. And then there came. Several months later. Ah! Let me just quickly call Anj. Hey, boy, did you see the sample papers? What papers? CBSE, bro. What? Why are there so many MCQs? Why so many case studies? Am I a lawyer or something? Why do I have to prove every theorem? Damn. Saw it? Okay, bye. Meanwhile, while the other three were overjoyed and stopped focusing on the exams, Akshat was stressed. He was not able to keep up. Every time he sat to study, he felt there was a lot left and lost all of his confidence. What? How I revise all this? I need more time. Even though he had started preparing long before the others, he fell behind due to stress. Days passed and students woke up but were not able to keep pace with the school in completion of syllabus and finally the most awaited day arrived. 
and the results were declared. It was quite an adventurous year, isn't it guys? Why do you say so? How was your result, huh? He failed. What? But you were the one who started the earliest. Now what will you do? Which college you will enter? Who will give you a job? Which bank will give you credit card? Who will marry you? How will you survive? This one piece of paper will not decide my future. working hard and being optimistic for your goal will always ensure your success. Now concluding with these beautiful lines. Struggles and troubles one always faces. Good opinions from everyone come in traces. Taking oath not to stop at any cost. Being adamant and inexorable even when one is lost. And one should do on which he can thrive. Not having regret at the last verse, rather a smile. So here we conclude with our video documentary, wishing you all with great health, thank you very much.